Hey, welcome to Fiddlehead. Jason here, and I'm doing my weekly fiddle review in which I look at the stuff I've played and worked on in the last week. I keep a pretty intense journal of what I do and seeing how it went. I want to mainly try to remember things and assess where I'm at, assess where I'm at with my practice and then set a little bit of a plan for next week. I usually don't follow the plan to the letter, but it helps me to have a general idea where I'm going. And so if you, I'm gonna talk about what I did, but I wanna give you some review prompt questions in case you wanna do this on your own and you don't wanna watch the whole video, give you like the main lesson or whatever you can take away from it. And I'll put these questions in the text for you to use as well. Overall thing to ask is, did you play every day or how many days a week did, did you play? For me, it was seven days and how many minutes per day? And for me, it varied anywhere from 30 minutes to two hours. The next thing I looked at, what tunes did you do? And you could ask yourself that. What tunes did you do during the week? And that includes pieces if you're doing classical music. What techniques did you work on? Scales, bowing, ear training. What went well? What were some small wins? What did you get just a little bit better at? Or a lot better at? Well, what could use improvement? Be kind to yourself, but be honest and say, yeah, this really, I want this to be a little bit better. And then that way you can set a plan to work on it next week. Try to find something that you can actually, don't pick something really huge. So pick one little part of a tune, say you want to improve. Just set your goals, make your goals realistic. Okay, and then what did you notice about the process of practice during the week? Was it generally fun? Was it generally a huge struggle? If it's really a struggle, then maybe you're biting off more than you can chew. If it's boring, then maybe you're not challenging yourself enough. And then finally, what are you gonna do next week? So I'm gonna run through some stuff I did with those questions in mind, and I hope you do the same. Okay, so the main thing I worked on was an Indian raga called coffee raga not spelled like coffee, the drink you drink in the morning to feel good, it's spelled K-A-F-I. And so I took two YouTube lessons. I'll probably link those too, just if you're curious. And, and they just walked, so one of them I learned a basic series of little melodic pieces for this raga. That's the whole thing, and then you could start it in the next octave. By the way, if any of this stuff that I talk about today is interesting to you, drop me a line, and maybe I'll make a lesson on it. It might be a fun way to figure out what the next lessons could be. I could just share stuff I'm doing, and if it strikes a chord with you, leave a comment somewhere, either on the course or on YouTube. Okay. And it's another thing I learned from the same video is you could take each little melodic bit, like the first thing, and then play it at different speeds with different rhythmic feels. Another lesson on on the coffee raga but I'll, I'll leave it at that and, and another thing I did what a little less time on spent a little but it is the cuckoo bird a tune that a, some student wrote to me and the student wanted to have a lesson on I just wanted to share one fun thing I did was take little parts of the melody and riff on them, like the ending. And then go back to the tune. And yeah, it's, uh, I'm slowly working towards figuring out what I do when I improvise so that I can teach it. I don't quite have a handle on it yet, but maybe through a dialogue with you guys and sharing stuff this way and figure that out. And then the other big thing I did was a blues piece, just looking at my notes, called the Jazz Fiddler. And a little 
a little contradictory. It's a blues piece. It's not really a jazz piece. It's called the Jazz Fiddler. But I'm not gonna split any hairs. I think I just did. All right. <laughs> I think I just did split hairs. Um, so this is a really cool tune, and uh, it was challenging for me. It uses closed position. It's in B flat. So not really any open strings. In, in a, by the Mississippi Sheiks, by the way. Because it's in this closed position, the cool thing with that is that you can move it around. You could shift it anywhere to any key. So I practiced it in a super high, an octave higher. teach a lot it's just transposing always be transposing things it helps you remember it and you can leverage that tune to learn new skills new tunes new positions and so oh yeah the, the really fun thing I did with this tune was to play it like a raga like the raga I did earlier like super slow just really in free time no beat and really just feel each part of it which I learned from Martin Hayes. And the main scales I did was minor scales, like Dorian scales. Let's do it in D. Um, so I did D Dorian, which is the scale for that first Indian coffee raga. Did minor pentatonic scales. Cuckoo bird, and then I messed around with um, turning that into the blues scale. Basically, you add a flat fifth to the D minor uh, pentatonic. I don't have any lessons on the blues scale yet. Coming soon. Stay tuned. Um, and then with that, I, I just did. I do a lot of things that I call melodic variation, like... So little patterns that you play on each step. So the, this one is called one, two, three. One, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three. And yeah, and I did this for a few different roots, like G minor pentatonic and F and B flat. And finally, I did some improv stuff. I there's two main things I did. One is improvising with another artist's recording. So there's this band I like called Harmala and they, they make really beautiful music and, and so they have very droney music here's a little sample and so i basically come up with melodies to play over this I can do that all night. 
your time is limited. You have more important things to do than hear me just wandering around like that. And But anyway, it's been a lot of fun doing that. And my goal with that is to make a, a recording that doesn't suck and send it to them, maybe using a part of the melody, and, and then do more things like that. I just find it really fun and enjoyable way to do more like wandering improv type practice. And the last thing I'll share that I, I did this week was I, I started working on a piece. So after working on like the B flat, minor pentatonics and stuff, I just hit upon a little melody. needs to be fleshed out but I took note of it I make little recordings I li like to make long recordings like when I'm like w with anything I like to just make long rambling recordings but then make a second recording that's like a summary super short less than a minute and I know I can go and get the idea really quick from it so anyway so that's roughly what I did during the week and then part of my review is then to say what am I gonna do next week and I have a short list because I, I know that I'll I'll do lots of other stuff, but my short list is simply to take another lesson on that raga, that another YouTube lesson on the coffee raga, and then to learn another Mississippi Sheik's tune. And I have two that I might learn. One's called Still I'm Traveling On, one's called Jake Leg Blues. They're a great band, and that's it. So again, I hope that, I don't mean to impress you with what I'm doing, that's not the point of this video. The point is I want you to take stock of what you do at the end of the week, write some notes, maybe even do some extra recordings during this process if you need. And then that way you can really get a bird's eye view of what you've done so that you can have a better practice session next week and enjoy yourself more. That's what it's all about. Anyway, thanks for watching. Have a good day. See you soon.